is the Chrissy Swan Show. Welcome to your Friday. It's an exciting Friday because it kind of feels like we're going into a long weekend. It does. And it is a long weekend for a lot of people. It is. Uh, Sad news for, I don't know, parents like me that had in the diary that school went back on Monday. And then as it became closer and closer, realised that most schools have said, ah, nah, stay at home Monday because Tuesday's the holiday. Wednesday. These, is it just me or do these holidays feel like they've been going forever? It's a real winner for the kids. It is, isn't it? It is. And they do need a break. That's the thing. You know, they get so ratty towards the end of the term. Yeah. Uh, speaking of not ratty at all, the gorgeous Georgie Coughlin is uh, is going to grace us. <laughs> I was wondering how you were going to segue that. With her <laughs> presence. Speaking she, of the ratty Georgie Coughlin. She is, well, she comes from a place called Ballarat. <gasps> So she's, she is a bit ratty she is. in a way, um, but she is a gorgeous woman. And, of course, you know, we feel related because we fell in love and were each other's confidant, etc., on the Australian morning television show, The Circle. So she's going to pop in. I can't wait. And today's the last day for you to win $1,000 with Wiz Hiss. Yeah. We've given away so much cash. It's not too late. Head to the Nova Player app and register for that. The Chrissy Swan Show. Say good day. I actually popped into Priceline on the way to work today because I just needed a fix. Damn it, I needed some ordinary hyaluronic serum. Oh, I would have picked that up for you with pleasure. Adele from Miranda in Sydney. What can I pick up for you? Uh, from Priceline. Uh, I always go with the ordinary products as well. <laughs> yeah, they're good, aren't they? Well, you'll be able to so spend good. your voucher on whatever you like, including the ordinary. Now, Adele, is everybody talking about your name now that Adele is super famous? <laughs> yes, I get that all the time every yeah. time I meet someone. It must be annoying because you were actually born before she was famous. Yep, I was. Now, what are you up to this weekend, my love? Um, I'm going to a party tonight and then I'm seeing some of my school friends. Okay, so tell me about it. Tell me about it. How old are you, Adele? Eighteen. Okay, what is the plan for the party? Like, does somebody? Are there still seventeen-year-olds? Is somebody like? Um, no, I think everyone's eighteen. I don't really know anyone. But <laughs> I got plus one. So. Oh, I reckon a sneaky fireball shot at home before you get <laughs> to the party will really get I'm you so get you there. Yes. Do not listen to this man. <laughs> Absolutely. She's got to get that little extra bit of confidence. Adele, you do not need alcohol for confidence or a good time. <laughs> hey, that sounds like heaps of fun. You've got a Priceline voucher. Thanks, Adele, so much for listening. Thanks for calling. Julie, Jules. Hi, Chrissy. I love it when you call me Jules. <laughs> <laughs> it always catches me out because it's so lovely and familiar. Two things I want to tell you. Yeah. Firstly, Go. I want to thank you because this morning my postie buzzed my doorbell and gave me my Priceline voucher from a few weeks ago, and I'm really thrilled, and it was a lovely surprise, so thank you Julie, you greedy piggy, we're about to give you another one. <laughs> what, are you doing? Save it up. what are you doing? What are you doing this weekend? Um, tomorrow night, going to somewhere in Brunswick to some place that does lots of meats and smoked goods for my daughter-in-law's birthday. We're all getting together for that um, tomorrow night. Oh, and then she loves Dale's- a bit of meat, does she? Oh, and we all like a bit of meat. Yeah, Don't I do, we? I do. Don't we, Jules? And then off to Dalesford for a drive on Sunday. Look at you, Jules. No, do you know what no. I've just decided, hearing you say that you're going for a drive? My mm. favourite apple orchard has posted on Instagram. <laughs> this is Pete, <laughs> Chrissy Swan. <laughs> that the Fuji apples are now on the ground, so they're only $2 a kilo Pick oh, your own. Off you go. Off I yeah. go, Jules. Apple pie for your kids next week. Correct, Julie. <laughs> you know me very well. You've got your Priceline voucher. Renee. Renee from Caboolture. I'm mad for Caboolture, Renee. Hi, Chrissy. How are you going? Yeah, all the better for talking to you. What are you doing this weekend? I'm oh, actually going to visit my mum for her birthday tomorrow. And, and where is she? Um, she lives in Morrowfield about... 10 minutes from yep. me. I know more. I feel very well. Yeah, she's... I had to take my, my two kids over and you know, let them give Nanny a hug and... Great. Cute. Yes. Make her feel extra old because one of them's nearly a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way. That's what you want to feel on your birthday. Much, much older than you are. You've got a price like voucher as well, Renee. Awesome. Thank you. The Chrissy Swan Show. For all your health and beauty products and advice you can count on, visit Priceline Pharmacy. Priceline has a massive range of brands at great everyday prices. Whatever you're after, you'll find it at Priceline Pharmacy. Hurry into your nearest Priceline Pharmacy or check out priceline.com.au. 
The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's clickbait. Emergency, emergency, Taylor Swift update. She has been snapped enjoying a night out with her mates Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. She's fine, guys. She's okay. I always thought Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds were a bit too cool for her. You've really got this thing about Taylor Swift not being cool. I just don't see her as cool. She's so cool. You reckon? Oh, my God, Jack. She gives me crazy cat lady energy. She is a crazy cat lady, but you can still be cool. Look who you're working with. (laughs) All right? So she's been snapped out having a beautiful night out with her friends, looking fresh and amazing. How good are friends? And how fun doing that in New York whilst being single? You'd feel like she'd feel like she has a new lease on life. Absolutely, she would. I think that says a lot about us and our feeling about relationships. That we look at her and we go, "How good! Happiness! You're free." <laughs> um, Joe Alwyn, on the other hand, her ex. You know, it still hasn't been confirmed, by the way, by either of them. But it's you That's know, true. it's happened. He's been snapped out as well in London. And he does look a bit dishevelled, but it might be early morning before coffee. And Lord knows, that is not the best time. To, uh, to be papped, yeah. God, we've all... No, we haven't all done it. Yeah. I have done <laughs> You've it. You've been there. I have been there, and let me tell you, it is... It's funny, actually. Now, moving on to our fa- favourite couple that haven't split up yet. <laughs> Rita Ora has confessed that her husband, Taika Waititi, who we love, um, was the second choice to direct her music video. She's just uh, done a music video for this song. Yeah. It gets a bit weird here. That's a Moby song. I know, but this. That, uh, yeah, but he does that in the in the Moby song too. Oh, I don't like it. Is this just a cover of? Yeah. Right? Well, I didn't know that. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> that's where we're at. <laughs> oh, that's really sad, <laughs> isn't it? That sounds like something that was recorded in her dad's studio <laughs> that her dad is doing the marketing for. To make us happy again, should we listen to our favourite reader song? Our favourite reader song. Lifetime for you. Yes, Rita. for a lifetime for you. Wasn't looking for love till found you. What a tune. This is 100% on my walking playlist and every time it comes on... I rewind it and play it again. It's euphoric. It is the best. Can't say the same for that new single. That's just <laughs> sad. The Chrissy Swan Show. I want to do a little compare the pair. Yeah. For the first time, I want to say ever, but I'm sure it's happened before and you know my memory is not great. <laughs> um, I feel like it's the first time, happy to be proven wrong, my kids are away with their dad. So I'm not there. <laughs> Every single one of them. Every single one. The house is devoid of children. How good. It is exciting, but also daunting. And I'm a little bit overwhelmed with what I can do. Yeah, you would have forgotten what that's like. In my house. Like, it just doesn't feel like my house, actually. It feels like the kids' house and I live there. Yeah, yeah. And I... Don't know what to do with myself. I'm going to give you an idea of what I think I could do tonight. Okay. You know, I love a laksa. Yep. And a laksa with prawns is one thing that none of the kids like. It's too spicy. They don't like soup. And also, Kit, my 11-year-old, will die. Um, oh, if he, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, he, if he has a prawn. so We avoid that dish. So that's not ideal. Yeah. It's not the best outcome. No. I mean, my bum dies when I have a Luxa, but I can deal with that. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking, just tell me, tell me anything. I'm thinking tonight of having a bath, yep. getting into my Udi. Okay. Because it is officially Udi season. Yeah. I washed them yesterday. I've hung them on the dry. It's on. Yep, yep. Woody's on. So, Woody engaged. Beef on Netflix. Yes, good. I want you to watch that. Because I haven't started it. Yeah. Oh, that's a heaven night already. Actually, no. I'm going to finish Well Mania because I've only got one episode to okay. go. Finish that. And then start a clean slate with beef. Yes. And I'm going to order my favourite laksa to be delivered to the house, which I will make sure is there waiting at the gate 
Don't you love it how they send a photo of it? Yeah. It's like, you know, evidence. There is no need to chat. No. And also because I'll be in my Udi. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll wait till it's there and then scamper back inside and eat the Udi, or eat the uh, laksa on my boob shelf. Yep, great. The patented boob shelf. Hot. With the Udi. Watching beef. I love it all. Can you just do me a favour? Tell me yeah. when you're going outside to pick up the Uber Eats package because I'm going to organise a pack just to get you in your Udi in that whole scenario. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'll be sure to tell you. I'll be right. sure to tell you. Is that is that an all right plan? Yeah, that sounds like heaven. A bath is really lush as well. I can appreciate you don't get time to do that. Yeah, I don't. So you definitely need to make sure you do the bath thing. Yeah, I mean, I haven't had a bath without two, minimum two, maximum three visitors. Oh, that's my idea of hell. And the cat and the dog. <laughs> uh, so that is not happening. Maybe it's just the cat and the dog tonight and the like. So I'm very excited. I will let you know how I go. Please do. And maybe I do need to get a blow wave to go and pick up the likes from the front you door. Should. You're going to be you so should. naughty. The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy Swans Where's Fizz Wine Bag Celebrating 75 years of fun It's not a party without Whiz Fizz Fiona, I want you to take home $1,000 today so badly Oh, I would absolutely love that Alright, let's breathe in through our nose Yep And out through our mouth mm-hmm. And it's almost done It's almost done In a few minutes You'll be giving over your BSB and account number, baby. All right, here's how it works. I've got a nostalgic product in my mind. There's a lot of other crap in there, Fiona, but there is also this nostalgic product, and you've just got to guess what it is. Once I give the first clue, the clock will start with $1,000 on the line thanks to the good people at WizFizz. It's a party in a bag. That sounds bad. <laughs> Happy Friday. <laughs> um, and the longer you take to guess correctly, <laughs> Fiona, you're a bit cheeky. You were very quick on, very quick with the woohoo about the bag for the weekend. Um, the longer you take to guess correctly, the less money you grab. But I've got a really good feeling about this, Fiona. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Here we go. Okay. I am a toy in the 3D form of a square. $1,000. Rubik's Cube. Yes, Fiona! Oh, my God! <laughs> uh, uh, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. $1,000 for your Friday. <laughs> Thank you so much. How amazing. For another $1,000, can you solve a Rubik's Cube? <laughs> I wish. Yeah, the answer is no. <laughs> but you've got the thousand dollars. Well oh my done, God, Fiona. Oh so good. Thank you so much. It's oh, so much so money. You have just made my weekend. You've made my weekend. I can really hear the joy in your voice, my love. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Chrissy's quizzy. Oh, yeah, this is your one and only chance to win a limited edition Chrissy Swan Show bum bag. Get inducted into the bum bag lifestyle. And contrary to what most of you would believe, Jack is too cool for a bum bag. I'm not too cool for it. It's just not a part of my style. If it was a $6,000 bum bag, you would wear it. I, you did say you would buy me the Prada bum bag. Mm-hmm. I'm still waiting. I was lying. <laughs> Christy V. Emily, welcome, ladies. Hey, hey. Hey. How good is Friday? Mate, Friday is the only day that matters. (laughs) Who is that? Who just said that? Who said that? Christy. Christy, (laughs) you are spot on, my darling. The only day that matters. (laughs) Oh, my God. What have you got planned for tonight? I know that I need to be quicker, but I just want to be in Christy's world for a second. What's on for tonight? Um, Well, I finish work. Picking my kids up from school, mm. and I'm thinking about beers and Netflix. That oh, is yeah. it for me, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, is, there some, is there some sort of Vagola area outside your place there that you can, you know, duck out and have a bit of a quiet time, quiet bevy? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes, there is. Absolutely. <laughs> is there a couch out there, Christy? Okay, no, let's, let's move <laughs> let's on. Go. All right, here is how it works. Emily, I love you too, by the way. I've just given too much <laughs> love to Christy. I don't have a favourite. Hey, Emily. <laughs> I'll just fade over here. Oh. Oh. All right. Okay. So here's how it works, my lovelies. Your names are your buzzers. Test them now. Emily. Christy. Yes, good. good. It's the best of five, meaning the first one of you to get three answers correct wins the game and will walk away with aforementioned Chrissy Swan show bum bag. They're pretty cool. All right, let's go. <laughs> cool. Question number one. I love that Queensland cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
Kill. All my family from kill. Queensland, so I know all about kill and pool. Let's get in the pool. All right, question number one. Former Bachelor and rugby player Nick Cummins was booted from the jungle last night. What is his nickname? Emily. Yes, Emily. Honey Badger. Correct. Question number two. What is used to make hummus? Christy. Yes, Christy. Emily. Chickpeas. Correct. Have you ever made it from scratch yourself, Christy? No, but I ate some awesome beetroot hummus from Oliver the other day. It was amazing. Oh, I love that. Sorry, my phone's ringing. I'm so professional. (laughs) You know what it is? It's somebody trying to upgrade my hot water service, and I think it might be a scam. Anyway, beware. (laughs) Buyer beware. Let's get back to the competition. One all to Christy and Emily. We're up to question three. Oh, it's Lady Madness here today. (laughs) All right, question number three. The TV series Gossip Girl is set in which city? Emily. Yes, Emily? New York. You are correct. Two to Emily, one to Christy. Emily, this next question is for the win. Alan Joyce mm-hmm. is the CEO of which Australian... Emily. Co- yes, Emily, for the win. Qantas. It is Qantas. <laughs> Emily, you dark horse. <laughs> well done, Emily. You, you may not have an undercover area with a couch on it that you like to sink bevies in, but you have got yourself <laughs> a limited edition money can't buy bum bag, my girl. I actually do have an undercover area that I can sink some babies in. Uh-huh, of course you do. <laughs> I got it all. Oh, of course you do. I'll, I'll see you there in about 35 minutes, Em. The Chrissy Swan Show. Welcome. My, basically my sister, Georgie Coglin. Welcome, <laughs> darling. Tato. It's such a joy to be here, but I am worried about how much we can so- try and pack into such a short amount of time. I know. we, Jack, we have not stopped talking since she's arrived. I know. I've been here. And there's, <laughs> there's so much to cover off. First thing I want to talk about is this show, sadly only for Melburnians at Chapel Off Chapel. You're going to be singing the songs of Lady Gaga, Adele, Kate Bush and Joni Mitchell. Is this just you, like... <laughs> In your living room. <laughs> just an excuse, Tato, to get up there and have a belt like you and I have done before oh. with a cheeky karaoke. Don't have a karaoke machine, have an awesome band instead. But, look, it's just a show, good fun, about the load that we carry every single day. Everyone has a load, of course. I would argue mothers have a pretty hefty one. Yes. And so it's just all the, the trials and tribulations, the stresses. And have we learnt anything from COVID? My answer would be no. I think the load's more now than it ever has been, Tato. It has been a shock, hasn't it, coming out and realising all that shit is still there. It's still there. <laughs> and not only is the shit still there, I reckon it's bigger. I mean, I've got one child, hello, disclaimer, mm. and mm. I'm still finding it tough. One is the same as ten, you know. Like, it's a lot. They're well, still there. Yeah. I, I tell myself that anyway. Well, get online if you're in Melbourne. To, or, or make the trip. Why not? Chapelofchapel.com.au. I also want to talk about this, your farm. Well, I just bought your fresh chook eggs coming in hot from the chook's bums. They're still warm. <gasps> There's still poo on them. Yep. Heaven. That's how the fresh. Because I know you love a cheeky fresh egg. But what is this retreat thing where you talk about your feelings and... <gasps> well, it's like my dream gig, Swanee. What's it called? Because you've been to the farm. It's called Birmingham. Birmingham with an E. With Birmingham with an E, and it's my grandmother's maiden name. She was a beautiful, nurturing, amazing woman. You've been there. You, you're rocking and you sort of start to already... Relax, come down. I just thought, you know what? People are so knackered, lost, want to do the work, want to work out who they are. I mean, who the hell are you after everything else is piled on top of you with expectation and judgment and roles? Mm. So this is a place where you come home to yourself. You do Brene Brown workshops. You can do meditation. Simon's going to run some mental health workshops for men where they make pasta. You know how men, Jack, don't like to what I'm doing now, which is looking directly at you and yeah. talk, and it's quite confronting. So maybe if you can roll a little gnocchi, Tato, and have a psychologist that's sort of tucked in around the table that you don't know about, men might open up. Oh, my God. And then you get to eat the gnocchi. And then you get to eat the gnocchi, Jack, Heaven. with our brand-new wood-fired oven that we've made. So, look, it was probably coming back, to be honest, to what I'm really passionate about, which is helping people live the best lives that they can live using professionals. So you yes. bring in the psych, you bring in the Brene Brown facilitator. I sort of swan around like a, a sort of a farmhouse lady <laughs> and provide the sponge and a little bit of gentle support. And people do – we've done some workshops and people drive away and they just – Something's shifted in them. Something's changed. This would give, like, as my favourite tourist attraction, as you know, is Sovereign Hill. (laughs) 
You are like their unofficial ambassador. You really I are. I love it so much. And I feel like there's a visit coming up. I just, okay. yeah, I was Another actually, photo shoot. I was driving into work today thinking, <laughs> it's, time, it's for the, time. It's time for the bonnet again. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Last time I went as a, as a trooper. Oh, I like saw. Like a, a rough guy you had with a, a gun. You gun, didn't Yeah, you? I sure did. Is there a bubbling brook on your property that I could pan for gold? But Because if I can do that, if I can do both there, <laughs> then uh, you've got yourself a deal. Look, not so much gold, but you could certainly go through the paddock and get a little bit of horse poo. Lovely. Yes. I would love that. Yes. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Now, before we get into a round of Stump Chrissy, our listeners will be very angry if we don't talk about that little show, The Circle, mm. that you two oh. were both on. You know, out of all the te- TV and radio I've done, that is the thing that, apart from Big Brother... That is the thing that people most want to talk to me about still. Still. Still Mm. get DMs. Yeah. But it's such a diamond in my career. Yeah. I love that story about Michael Jackson about always trying to chase the Thriller album. They say that he was never as fulfilled afterwards because he kept trying to chase the mm, how successful yeah. Thriller was. And that reminds me a bit of The Circle. It was this beautiful moment in time, wasn't it, that we won't ever get back? No. And I think even at the time we knew we that did. it was special. It did. was special. It was gorgeous. If you had to think of one highlight, like straight <laughs> to the top of your brain, what would it be? Wow, so many. It'd be a toss-up for me between the time that Chrissy and I, because we'd get all these interviews sort of, so we weren't exhausted of doing three and a half hours of live TV, you'd get allocated teams to do certain interviews. Yeah. And this one time, they just decided for some reason that Chrissy and I should do this lovely lady that was coming to talk to us about how to massage sort of your partner and get your partner in the mood right. with all of these techniques and oils and everything. <laughs> and the lady was so, I've, I've forgotten her name, she was so fantastic, she was going through this method and she was basically getting quite detailed and then she just said, but you don't have to get anal about it. And that was it. <laughs> that was it. That's great. That laugh. And that sends you. Oh and then we were, we couldn't actually get it back together. We were just completely That's gone. so good. Beautiful memories. And Tony Hadley from Spandu Ballet. Yes. Dancing with him with Jane Kennedy wearing gold top hats. Maybe? Yeah, we had gold top hats and he was just delighted with it. Remember I sang into a fan in, with Bonnie Tyler? Total eclipse of the heart. I remember seeing that clip. We were just allowed to do whatever we wanted. You grabbed Kim Kardashian's butt. I did. That's massive. Can you imagine that now? It's I know. Just, it was such a hoot. Meatloaf, it's just, it was fabulous. I How tell good. you what, that meatloaf interview would not fly now. No. Someone call HR. Speaking of musical guests, uh, Georgie, we're going to pit you and Chrissy together in a round of Stump Chrissy. Oh, gosh. Now, Chrissy's somewhat, we thought, unstumpable in this game, but Joel Creasy has managed to beat her. Yeah. And, and there's Joel's a good chance you at will. It. Yeah. He, he is, no, but he is so smart. Stump okay. Chrissy. Okay, I've got five songs. Five? First Ooh. to three wins. Is that the first one? No, this is not the first one. Oh, damn. I call okay. you. I need <laughs> you. My heart's on fire. All righty. Song one. I'm going to play two seconds. Buzz in with your names. I need the name of the artist and song. Chrissy. George. George. Um, happy. Happy. Uh, Pro Wounds. Correct. Pro Wounds. <laughs> one to Georgie Coglin. Delay between my <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, round two. <laughs> oh, oh, now, nah. hang on. If I get it, more. can I go one more? One go more. more. Oh, Georgie. Beautiful Christina Aguilera. Oh! Beautiful. That's almost worth two points. It's a point, but it's a very good point. Gee, it was a pretty rough intro without that first <laughs> bit. I'm really Jeez. impressed with that. Hard task, Mark. And you didn't go. <laughs> bit of all. Chrissy, how can Alrighty, round three. Chrissy! Oh, Chris, oh, Chrissy! Georgie, oh! James Fleetwood Mac. Yes, yes, very good. Cheers, you clean, you know. know. Oh, this is our era, yes. You know. Alrighty, two okay. to Georgie Coglin, one to Chrissy Swan. Oh, on. At least I've got one on the board, I'm come not on. ashamed. Round four. Georgie! Shania Twain. Oh my god, um. Mel- 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 <laughs> <laughs> Foggy Pen of Look at it. And you know what the weird thing is? lost the power of speech. I'm looking at Chrissy, who's my competitor for the answer. I know. Chrissy's feeding you. It's totally screwed the game. <laughs> that just shows you how competitive I'm not. Still, Georgie Coglin wins three to one. Georgie Coglin, you are a delight. It's so good to see you. Oh, I love you, Tardo. I think, you know, we've learnt 
we've got so much to talk about that I need to come to your farm and have a cup of tea and we just need to workshop everything. You need to workshop <laughs> everything. You need to come and have a cheeky scone. Yes. Oh, my Yum. God. Yes. Uh, go see Georgie at the Motherload on Chapel Off Chapel. Tickets at chapeloffchapel.com.au. I love you. Thank you so much for coming in. The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's clickbait. Oh, I'm sad to say that Millionaire Hot Seat is about to be axed, apparently. Really? I know that it probably wouldn't seem that I would be a fan of that show, but sometimes when I've really lost the will to live, (laughs) I like to watch it to just really cement my decision because (laughs) it is the funniest show, one of the funniest shows on television because when Eddie Maguire has to speak to the contestants and I know that they've been prepped by producers to come up with a... A pithy, interesting story. It never is. Ever. It is the most boring story, and that in itself is perfection. And game show contestants are the type of people that, like, they believe their own BS. They think they're mega interesting. And they think it's the funniest (laughs) story that's ever been told, and poor Eddie Maguire's not listening to a word of it. No. Absolutely not a word. It's one of the funniest things I can watch on television, so I'm sad to hear that it may be going. Um, I'm also sad that there won't be another opportunity for this level of gold. You're a singer, yes. you're a model, you're a dancer, yes. you're an actress, you're a songwriter. Yes. Wow. That's a fair business card. Mm-hmm. Can you sing something for me? I what if can, you're not? I can. Well, you're going to well, regret geez. that. You're going <laughs> to regret it, Eddie. We could be heroes. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we could be heroes. Stop it. <laughs> She sounds like a wolf. Yes. Sometimes corgis, when they really love their meal, they are woo. That's what she sounds like. Absolutely. Uh, So, look, Vale, millionaire hot seat. It's going to be replaced with an addictive new format, whatever. (laughs) Uh, Now, let's move on to the blue ticks. Yeah. Twitter. Elon Musk is playing dirty. Um, he Remember, he bought Twitter and then he said, you're going to have to pay for it, $8 a month. And uh, if you don't, you're going to get in trouble, whatever. Here's the trouble. Here comes trouble. He has begun removing the verified check marks or the blue ticks uh, from notable figures who have refused to pay the $8 a month subscription fee. Hollywood Jack, thoughts and feelings? Well... I am off the blue tick because Instagram at the moment is sort of doing a similar thing where you can purchase the blue tick or you can go through a process to get one. How much does it cost? I don't think it's expensive, but I think it's a monthly payment of maybe $10 to $30 in that sort of realm. Who in their right mind? This is the thing. It's taken away any sort of coolness or legitimacy of having a blue tick. So I've got mates that have got blue ticks now. And they've seen every Joe Blow getting one and they want theirs gone because it's kind of not cool now. So I never want a blue tick. If you're listening on Instagram, don't give me one. Don't give me one. <laughs> don't and I'm want it. certainly not going to pay for it. It goes no. again, it flies in my rule of don't pay real actual <laughs> money for a thing that doesn't exist in real life. That goes with all of those coins that you buy on games yeah. and character skins and all of that. I just can't get in my head. The point of paying real, actual money for something that doesn't exist. You can't get your hot little mitts on. It is nuts, but these influences will be sad. They'll be so flat. So sad. (laughs) Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.